Hello, trading is closed on Wednesday, the 4th of September, 2024. As always, we'll do our disclaimer, go over our calls and make some predictions. It's my trading plan for Thursday, which is September 5th, 2024. This is what I'm going to do. If you're going to risk your own money, do so at your own risk, because I can be wrong. I've had my uh, comments section disabled for a few years because I would get posts from a few scammers uh, who would say they followed some well-known guru whom I never heard of. And if I never heard of him, he's not well-known. And they made five times their money in six weeks. It was just a scam and I had to waste a lot of time deleting all their all their posts. But if you really do have a good track record and you want to post, just write me at this address, mejt.trades at gmail.com. We have a couple of professionals who are posting. And if you want to post as well, just let me know. The rule is you have to make a specific call and you have to say how you came up with it. Look for the pattern today with the early low. That's this. Tomorrow should have the early high. We had a higher target. I thought it might not work. And we gapped down smartly. When you gap down smartly, according to the rules, the time is killed, but not the price. So we'll add that number to the list. I had um, I had an optional target. It didn't print, so we're just going to erase that. So now we have an ultimate target, 55.85.42. A regular target, 55.66.56. 56. It should print at some time. And the new target from today's pattern, 55.31.26. And if we don't get down smartly, that'll be the call. And of course, you could well get down smartly. BJT said this move is false, it retraced. We got an ultimate sell signal. That worked, but this shouldn't stick. You should trade over this line. Note also that the day dropped most of the day and our close was over all these lows. If that's maintained at the open, it's a bullish pattern. It should take us higher. Doesn't mean we close higher and it's no guarantee it's maintained. But it is the first positive sign we've had in a while. It's also right at the July FOMC announcement price, which is the support resistance area. So maybe we'll get a bounce, but 55.31.26 is only 11 or so points higher. I don't think we're through dropping. If you're going to play it, you better be nimble. Well, tomorrow's pattern has a really high regardless of where we open. Typically, it's a bearish day with a low in the final hour. If it's strong instead, we should see more strength in days to come. We have a higher target. If we don't get smartly, the rules, if we don't get down smartly, the rules call for it to print. We have a day which dropped most of the day, but closed over intraday lows. So unless we get down smartly, we should trade higher, but that doesn't mean we close higher. I don't think the declines over here, any long position should be considered a counter trend trade. I'm not really a fan of counter trend trades early in the decline. But this one at least has a higher target, has a close over, intraday lows, and is at a support level. I think it has a chance to work if we don't cap down smartly. It's a pattern with the early high, and that's today's call.